rigged up now. We'll be setting off in a minute. It's got a few more bits to put away. Just having a bit of a break. Um, I'm going to be staying out two nights. So yeah. So just had quite a large obstacle, um, had to get out at the side and um, go under a few trees. Uh, it was the same like kind of situation last time, there was a tree and I slammed into it and my boat started going sideways and uh, that's the last thing you want. So I uh, tried to correct it as quickly as possible, so I don't want to lose any more gear. Um, and. Um, I took the other path and uh, got out, luckily managed to get out, so good job it's quite shallow on the uh, near the sides, near the bank, but yeah, they're now attempting the obstacle up there, they've got a bigger boat and there's two of them so I'm not sure how they're going to handle that. So I finally uh, reached a nice bit here, an island, and uh, I'm just going to wait for them now. There's not been many rapids, it's been a good, good journey so far. So some people on my previous video were asking me what I will do differently when I come back out from last time. And what I've done is instead of a double or I've just had one, I think the boat is easier to control and I'm used to using one oar. Um, so I think that's much easier. Plus when I'm rowing, um, I don't get soaked from the drips off of the oar. Um, I position my seat uh, more for further forward so I have more control over the boat. And um, yeah, I've positioned the weight well. I did that last time. The weight is uh, nicely even throughout the boat. And here they come. <laughs> so they're, they're stopping now. And I've also got these, <laughs> these shoes. They're really good um, boat shoes. So they're... Um, they're lightweight and they've got a sole on the bottom. I'll show you them later. And they find they're finally here. Did you find that? Is it good fun? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Off we go. Just found a nice place to set up camp. So just having a scout around, seeing which is a nice spot. I brought my hammock and tarp, so looking for two trees that can is the ideal size.
my setup's all done. Just been chilling out for an hour or something. Um, it's been quite a busy day. Um, but yeah, I've got my hammock, roll mat, sleeping bag. And a great view. So, it's really nice. <laughs> and I'm just chilling out. We were on the river for about four hours, but taking it like steady. And then uh, we stopped once on the little island. And then uh, we stopped again here and set up camp. So at the moment, we're just making a fire. And um, in a minute we're going to get something to eat. So I think we've got hot dogs. So, it's, yeah, it's really relaxing. It's nice um, getting back on the river. I think it was the best thing to do after I um, kind of had a dip last time. I think it was best to get back on the river and regain my confidence again. So I've got my my uh, lunch.
just come across that bridge. So it was a bit um, creaky, but we all made it. going for a little walk again um, I come up the other way and now I'm gonna cross over so this is the river we came down earlier so yeah it's been a really nice day and um, the weather's been brilliant and, uh, it's really nice walks around here The sun's starting to set. I'm gonna head back to camp and uh, get my stuff sorted before it gets dark. So further on, we have an obstacle. There's a log in the river, so we're deciding whether to uh, to cut the, the log or try try to portage around it. Um, so we're gonna suss that out. But apart from that, um, it's been pretty chilled since we've arrived here. It's obviously lovely scenery. And, um, and uh, it was quite tricky doing the river, in the river. Um, it's a lot of portaging, a lot of uh, bringing the boat out. But it was good. It was really nice. Another weekend with the family. Um, what more could you want? So, yeah. On that note, I just want to thank all my subscribers just for always leaving such lovely comments and um, sharing these, these lovely experiences with me. So, it does mean a lot. Um, when you leave nice messages and comments um, and the amount of subscribers I've got is uh, amazing so I've been going less than a year and I'm on 8,000 and, 8, and something subscribers so I just want to thank you guys for uh, always supporting me I really appreciate it and uh, I'm looking forward to sharing the rest of my year and future years um, on YouTube with you guys. So I hope you've uh, enjoyed my video so far. Tomorrow we're going to be keep going downstream and um, we camp out again tomorrow and then it's uh, bank holiday Monday. So we've got an extra day, 
and then four days till my GC GCSE exams start. So quite busy at the moment. But it will be great when I finish school because like I've said in my latest video this is what I really passionate about and I want to continue doing this so I just love being outdoors yeah, it's where my passion lies and I love um, videoing it it's great fun so I think I've already mentioned this but my sleep system tonight is my rub sleeping bag my uh, my green Therma mat, therma rest mat, and my hammock. So my sleep system is really uh, basic compared to the winter. Obviously, you don't need as much layers and uh, insulation, so it's great. You don't have to carry as much stuff. You don't need wool blankets and wool jumpers. And uh, the only thing you gain weight with is. Uh, the water so you need a lot more water obviously because it's uh, quite hot so you gotta keep your your fluids up but apart from that um, I'm pretty lightweight I've got my my black waterproof bag my 60 litre bag and I've got a little bum bag for putting my essentials in I find that quite handy when I'm uh, on the boat and then obviously my food bag and a uh, five litre water container as well as my two water bottles so pretty prepared oh and I'll show you my uh, my shoes now that i am got with me so a bit muddy because I've just been on a walk but these are my uh, my little boat shoes I've recently <laughs> been wearing so even though I don't like they look like pe what Peter Pan wears um, they're really great they've got a good hard sole on the bottom so I can walk on the banks and they're really grippy when I'm going up the slopes and um, they're really good for going in the water with they've got a adjustable strap these are size 5 that's my feet size. Um, so they fit really well. They're really comfortable, really flexible. And they're just nice instead of wearing bulky boots when you're in the boat or walking around camp in them. It's like wearing no shoes, but you've got a bit of protection. So I've just been in the water with these, walking in the water in the boat. Pretty much been wearing them all day. So I really rate these for... Uh, boat life so I'll put a link on in the description of what make they are they say solar solar that's what they say so I think you can get many different makes of these uh, boating shoes I'll uh, put in the link any in the description anyway so, um, talking about my GCSEs and my future plans, I um, I will be going to Romania in July. I think it's the tenth to the sixteenth, and I'll be uh, going to Romania with a group of people, and we're going to be going out there um, to help to help the poor people. So I think we'll be setting up food banks. Um, just interacting with the, the locals kind of getting to know what their culture's like um, and then we'll go to Transylvania and look, do some sightseeing there because it's really pretty there so six days in total and I think I might take my video depending on what everything's like but I can't wait for that that will be really good fun a new experience and um start of my travelling. So I'll, I think I'll really enjoy that. 
It's quite a way off at the moment, but time flies. I can't believe it's uh, May already. So we're our fifth month in to this new year. It's just gone really, really fast. I'm just going to collect some dry bits of uh, kindling for the morning so we're all prepared and uh, put it in one of the tents so the morning dew don't, dew don't um, get it damp. There we go, you can have that in your pillow bed. Pick a card. Thank you. <laughs> so you've all got our uh, galaxy hot chocolates. Um, I think tomorrow morning I'm going to collect up some nettles and make some nice nettle tea. It'll be nice and uh, refreshing for the morning. So I'm just uh, getting ready for bed now, it's starting to get dark, the sun's gone down and um, I'm going to get into bed. So thanks for joining me on uh, day one and um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Just had my hot chocolate which is really nice and um, yeah. <sighs> I'll get up soon. Morning guys. Um been up about an hour or something. Um yeah it was a good night. I slept well. My bag got a bit damp um on the top but it held its heat really well so it weren't cold at all just dropped from the temperature it was in the daytime and um, looks like I'm going to be putting on toast now and um, yeah nice bit of uh, breakfast and then we're going to be uh, <laughs> we're going to be uh, portaging our stuff down that way and carrying on downstream So I've packed up all my gear now. Yeah, 
we're gonna be setting off soon so we're taking all our gear down that way as there's a big obstacle in the river so it's a big log so we have to uh, go around that so we're um we're walking down to our um, bit where we're going to get back in on our boats. It's just going along the river and uh, moving all our stuff from camp. So I'm getting my uh, boat now. I'm going to drag it down there. So just putting a few bits and bobs in there. I'm going to pull it down to where we're getting back in. unloaded everything so yeah back to it it's really nice and it's so hot
Har flyet. Ja. So we've got all our stuff up the bank now and now we're gonna look for a campsite to stay tonight. So the reason why we had to get out is because of this uh, little bit of a weir. So it's really shallow and I think we'd have bottom at, bottomed out if we went down there. So it starts to get really fast after that bit and narrow. So it's best if we got out. So we're hoping to stay in that field just there. As you can see now, it's so shallow. <laughs> so uh, we have been surrounded by cows. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> they just came up pretty close just then. Came up right to our, our feet. I think they think it was a trough. The, yeah, the canoe. they were interested in the canoe. Oh, that's that male. So a bull's just entered the. Uh, the um, premises. <laughs> We're getting out of here because the bull's coming. <laughs> oh, he's looking. Right. Oh, everyone, he's coming. So we're gonna go cook now. Um, got everything with me. I'm gonna get uh, get cooking. So you've got steak and biryani. Very nice. So just cutting up some garlic now for our steaks that we're having. Give it a nice bit of flavour. I'm gonna cut the the little. I've collected some of the little shoots. I'm going to cut the whole leaf. Sure, stab. So it's been a really good day. Um, sun's going down. Starting to get a bit darker now. But yeah, enjoyed it. It's been a really good uh, trip. And it's sad that it's the uh, end tomorrow. But everything's um, 
He's just washing his gear. And um sorted all my stuff for the night. So we're both sleeping on his uh on his tent. So he's just laid the uh the tent on the floor and we've put our roll mats and sleeping bags on uh, on top of it. So that was uh we'll be sleeping under the stars tonight. Then we made a little barrier for the cows and um Mum's in there, in her, uh, in just her mesh. Yeah, we're all pretty chilled out now. I'm just enjoying the view. And the cows have gone up into the other field now, so. All our stuff ready. The sun's setting now. Morning guys, um, sadly the trip's come to the e an end, um, just packing up now, our sleeping bags were drenched from the morning dew, but uh, they're just drying off now in the sun. Right, thanks for uh, joining me on my video, I hope you enjoyed it, had a really good night, apart from snoring, but uh, apart from that, it was really good. So thanks for joining us and uh, I'll see you on my next video. So now we're gonna lug all this back, gonna get an Uber back to the car and then we'll drunk all.